Hi, everybody. I just want to show you uh, the new improvements to the UV projector. And first, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing with this little project. I have a fake piece of terrain. It's not, it's really just a, a, a panel, but I'm putting it into a noise deformer. And that's going to allow me to deform it into a piece of fake terrain. And now what I need is a little lip because this panel is going to fit down into a real terrain. So I'm uh, not going to go into too much explanation, but basically I created a little uh, curved lip and this is inside a grouper. And the grouper is routed into the noise deformer. So now I have like a, a if I put my terrain texture on, and I don't know why you're not propagating through this model. You're just being obnoxious. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so you understand how this works. This is a piece of fake terrain that I'm going to build on top of. This is actually part of my model, and it fits on top of an actual terrain that I'm not really controlling. So I just need this lip to drop down into the, the real terrain. So I've put a terrain texture onto the grouper, and that's painted both of the meshes inside. And the deformer is working on both meshes. But, uh, as you can see, there's some bad stretching here on this plan sweep, and no matter how I adjust the scaling on this uh, texture, uh, this will never line up with the other. You, know, you see what we're doing, right? If I zoom in. It should be pretty obvious where that texture breaks, right? And I'm going to go ahead and turn off that wireframe, but you can still see... Yeah, that's a, that's a bad... a bad UV seam. And not to mention this bad stretching here. Okay, so what I did was I remembered that uh, Rory... <coughs> updated the UV projector, and one of the things he said was that it uh, now defaults to Y projection. So I just thought I would try it out, and then let me go ahead and just route it back into the, my noise deformer. And you see what it's done is it's rescaled the, the material. In fact, now I've lost all control here on the, uh, the material node. It no longer feeds anything, but it's re... it's cleaned up all of those edges. You can't really see a seam anymore. But what we have now are all of these controls on the UV projector node. So all I have to do is grab one of these ends and look here, you can just re- you can just float this middle. Oh! Amazing! Oh. And... Now, of course, it's UV projected from the top down. So, you know, you're still going to get stretching along these sides, depending on how steep your sides are. But, <laughs> I don't mind, because this is just amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Like, I think you can see how this is just a huge... Alright, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. Bye!